Hello and welcome to our learning to cook pizza journey. And today we're using the Pro and I'm just going to start it off with the gas, charcoal, lump wood. that's got going pretty quickly so I will now turn this off Right, let's check the stone temperature on here and it's um, too hot. <laughs> the back up there, it's 5.5, five, it's over 5.50 and it's 4.80 here so I want to keep it and by the door it's 3.8. I don't know whether just quickly stick a cast iron pan on it just to bring that bit down at the back I think I will do that I'll get that now okay so I've got my cast iron pan and I'm just pushing it right in the back there where I want the temperature to come down by about 40 degrees very quickly I'll just leave that there for about just enough to bring the stone down a bit right, that's been it about 35 seconds see if that's done the job yeah it has oh much better that's good my 70% hydration pizza dough in let's get that in now and put my pizza put my pizza door put my pizza door on I've put these stones in a bit uneven and so when I slide my oh, when I slide my peel underneath I'm pushing into the stone
So about the dough, I just want to say something about the dough. Uh, I think it's it's got a lovely texture to it. It's very squishy and it doesn't stretch back because it's got more water in in the dough but I honestly do find it a lot harder I do find it a lot harder to work um, I find it's got more holes in and uh, you know like when you lift it up it's got lots of really thin places and then some not so thin places and it doesn't seem to have a very consistent texture and what I and I've uh, made it normally as I do my bread maker on the normal pizza dough setting. I put it in the fridge to proof. Um, for 24 hours and then I proofed it in a room temperature for uh, 24 hours. And unlike my other doughs, it's also come out like a really weird shape as well. Even though I've used the turning peel, I haven't brought it out to, you know, turn it round. It's also come out like oval. And my, my, that's the first time that's happened uh, with my pizza for a long time. Let's try that bit. So the dough has come out a lot crunchier on the base, it's like really crunchy. Definitely has changed the way that the dough cooks on the stone. And I think I like the way that it tastes as well. It's got this nice, crunchy, it's got a slightly different taste to it. I can't really describe it. It's more like a better chewing experience because you're crunching into your pizza. That's the what I like about it. What I don't like about 70% hydration dough is the fact that I can't really manage it very well. I thought it was going to be worse. I thought the stickiness was going to be like ciabatta dough sticky. But it wasn't however I did find it difficult to stretch into a circle then when I finally got it into kind of like a circle when I got it into the oven and it came out it came out oval even though I was turning it with my peel so I do think it does change shape easier than a lower hydration dough I think it changes shape when you're turning it in the oven so 
I'm not sure how easy it is to create a perfect round dough with 70% hydration. I don't know, that's maybe something I can have a, I can work on, but uh, yeah, I did find that bit harder. Can you hear the crunch here? It's so crunchy. The recipe is in the description box below. Very nice.